Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, July 8, 2024. Recently, I've been posting videos where on my diet and they see that I have high protein diet. And they instantly say, well, your kidneys this, your kidneys that, you're damaging your kidneys, blah, 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 blah. Does a high protein diet damage your kidneys? Let's take a look at this. A new meta-analysis published in June 2024 verified what I have known for decades. But who am I, right? Well, I'm a guy who eats between 200 and 250 grams of protein daily. That's 3 plus grams per kilo of body weight, and my kidneys are in good health. They're in perfect health. In addition, I have eaten a high-protein diet my entire life. And in the last two years, I even upped my protein increase. My latest blood test in June showed the following kidneys biomarkers. These are the results of my last test. Serum creatinine, 1.1 milligrams per deciliter. Blood urea nitrogen, bun, 18 milligrams per deciliter. Cystatin C, 0 0.74 milligrams per liter. The other one is glomerular filtration rate. GFR for short, 105 milliliters slash minute slash 1.73 meters squared. This unit, ML slash MIN 173 milliliters squared, stands for milliliters per minute per 173 per square meters. This is a standardized way to measure GFR, which is the rate at which the kidneys filter blood. I always check this. Now, let's get back to the meta-analysis. This is what this new meta-analysis found. They investigated six studies with over 148,000 participants, including over 8,000 with chronic kidney disease. They found that higher intake of total plants and animal proteins was associated with, ready, a lower risk of chronic kidney disease. Total protein, 80% lower risk. Plant protein, 23% lower risk. And animal protein, 14% lower risk with fish and seafood showing a notable benefit of 16% lower risk. Eating more protein from plants and animals, especially fish and seafood, which I love, is linked to a lower risk of chronic kidney disease, not a higher risk. This is why I don't have any problems with my kidneys. I check my blood markers every three months. I never had any problems with my kidneys. And I have a lot of people on, on YouTube making comments about that protein destroys your kidneys. Where is the evidence? Show me the evidence. It's not happening to me. I, I'm sorry. I just, with all due respect, whoever's making these comments, maybe it pertains to you. Maybe you have problems with kid, kidneys already. I, I don't know. It doesn't. It's not affecting me. And I will continue to eat a high-protein diet because, why am I saying this? A high-protein diet is a longevity diet, contrary to what Mr. Walter Longo, PhD, says. I'm sorry, Mr. Longo. You're not correct. Your diet is not going to make anyone live 20, not even 100 years. Why am I saying this? Because you need protein to keep strong muscles, strong bones. Protein is not just for muscle bones, it's for your entire body. You need to work out, especially in older age, and you need to up your protein intake. You need to avoid that sarcopenia, muscle loss. You are all going to get muscle loss, even if you work out. You eat a, a low-protein diet, you it is a recipe for frailty. You will be frail. Your bones will be less dense. You don't have to believe me. You keep doing what you do. I keep doing what I do. I wish everyone the best. I just showed the evidence. There's no disputing it. I'm sorry. My blood test and, and the meta-analysis. All the best to you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a wonderful day and see you soon in my next video.